Cutter. Come in, Cutter. What's happening? Are you all right? I tried to think, but my thoughts raced around with nowhere to go. It was like someone had put a shotgun upside my head and blown a hole clear through my brain. Cutter. Talk to me, goddamn you. Where are you? I'm okay. The data must have packed it all. I, I got a sudden shock rush. God. We've been made. Just get out of there and fast.
The city was a cold place, but it was here where the money was, and that was all that counted. Engines started. Shields activated. Warning, shields low. All systems nominal. Sub-systems redundancy check. Plasma okay. Fusion check. Navcom okay. Warning force field error. Control check. Weapons okay. Air attacks error. My mouth was full of acid as the tension of the past few minutes pumped up from my stomach in a sickly bile. All I could see were questions, looping through my head like a piece of film spooling through a projector. Why did I pass out? Why would anyone want to kill Chris? What was so special about this data? It spun around my head until the film snapped, and I was left with just a blank white screen.
these places started springing up about 20 years ago. Part of this thing called the New Age movement. I couldn't see anything new about guilt. It was just the same old cycle. Sin, salvation, redemption. A couple of hours in here and your sins could be washed away like so much dirty laundry. I never bothered. I could scrub for a whole week and still never get rid of the stink. After I make a drop, the credits are wired to a bank account in Nigeria. This worked smoothly up until now. A very profitable arrangement all around. Please insert your karmic card. The karmic cycle needs to be completed. Please arrange the shapes in the correct sequence to proceed. I'd manage a partial transfer and I had some credits to operate with. That would be essential. Normally I could download the data here. The virus must have locked into my brain. I had to figure a way to get it out. The sum zero bar is the mecca. If you're a pirate, jockey, or a regular cowboy, here's where all the real business in the city gets done. If you need some cash and you don't want it telegraphed across the network, then this is the place.
You get so used to electronic cash, you forget the stale smell of hard currency. No one here forgets it. Mortgage men who can't stop gambling till they sold an implant or two. Sharpies bright and hard like the edge of a razor. They'd gut you for a hundred Nigerian ran and pick their teeth with the tip of the blade. Step aside, loser! symbol already chosen. There were thousands of ASCII kiosks franchised throughout the world, gathering and selling information all permanently plugged back into the Televerse. ASCII infoserfs the data streams in the virtual world like a cork on the waves, effortlessly and silently. Nobody knew which ASCII body was the real one, and it didn't really matter anymore. Insert card to receive ASCII Televerse coordinates. Televerse coordinates transferred. Please remove card. Now I had his Televerse coordinates. It should be easy to get him. ASCII transfers huge amounts of information. He should be able to find out what I needed. Some zero bar had its own economy. Electronic credit carried little weight. This was a barter economy. The bar warmed me. At least here I was just another freak. Well done. You can pick one item.
If you win again, you can pick another one. Welcome, Cutter. You have incoming mail. Please choose a service. I don't think even ASCII knew anymore whether he was a man trying to be an artificial intelligence or an artificial intelligence which thinks it's a man. Something's up with the data I'm curing. Can you tell me anything about it? Negative military infection. But that doesn't make any sense. I deal strictly in corporate, not military. Scan indicates copy protection. Data of great trade value. If you can get it out, I'll trade with it. Ask enable to penetrate fire defenses. Fire is terminal path. What do you mean terminal? Fire is too strong. Check back to origin. How could it get past Doc's antivirus? Fire is too strong. Are you willing to give me a credit line based on my data? Affirmative. Ask you willing to deal. Credit line established. Cut spray and ownership transferred. Two things. Do a background search. See if anybody has been checking up on me. I need to talk to Zip. Can you transfer his link number onto my database? Affirmative. Loading custom software. Please choose a service. Seeking news item. Today, the terrorist organization NAMO has announced that it intends to destroy the Televerse. They are threatening to plant a virus which will detonate inside the Televerse, bringing the world's communication network to a standstill, paralyzing the global economy. The Televerse has the most sophisticated anti-intrusion devices known to this planet. It will take more than a bunch of bullies to threaten us. We have obtained the following broadcast made by NAMO. We believe that NAMO have the right to reclaim its holy grounds from the imperialist rulers. Unless our demands are met, we are prepared to destroy the whole Televerse. Time is running out. We are prepared to waste the whole system if that's what it takes. Power Brunch. Boosts IQ by 70%. For up to two and a half hours per dosage. Hey, Cutter, good to see you, man. I'll meet you back on the other side. Loading custom software. Please choose a service. Hey Zeb, how's it going? Hey Mr. McGoo, it's something. Don't you think of anything but rushing Zeb? There's two kinds of people in this world. Those that rush and those that don't. Now you've got your derma rush, that's for the fleshies. You've got your skydiving, your racing, your orbit jumping. All those things that move your body through time and space. And there is your dweeby. 100% totally synthesized, fully transcendental, biocontrolled electronic rush. We're talking beyond the flesh, we're talking beyond electrons, we're talking beyond silicon. This is a thousand, no? A hundred thousand times stronger than any rush you're going to get through motion. I need some more things, can you help? It's a real dry time at the moment, everyone's clamping down. Well, I've got some military, some cortex, some soft tech. What can you offer me for it?
That's just what I've been looking for. Meltdown, man. Here you go. Be sure to catch me later if there's anything else you need. When Namo find an undercover agent, they play a little game. The agent is given a pistol and an hour's head start. Several young women are given short blade knives and sent after him. I've never seen it take longer than two hours for them to come back with his skin. I had infiltrated a Puerto Rican gang of pharmaceutical smugglers. We were trading drugs with Namo when I met Gala. Doubt she'd recognize me. Back then, I had a different face. It's rude to point. Thanks for the help back there. Call me sometime. We'll do hey, lunch. Hey, I figure you got me into that. You owe me one. What do I look like? The prize at a fair? Three direct hits and you get to keep me? That was some slick trick you pulled off back there. How'd you manage that? Oh, I get it. It's a line. You're looking to get your rocks off and you figure me for the sucker play. No, I need some help. A simple task. I'll pay. Hard currency. Nigerian. In advance. I've got it back in the hotel. You got a cute ass. Okay. Some ground rules. No touching, stroking, or fondling. Strictly looky-looky, and you pay for what I break. When you need me, you can reach me on this. Germ would help slow down the virus, but not for long. Is this it then? Okay, here's where you're in your keep. You see that guy over there? I want you to distract him so I can go around the back. You get more interesting by the moment, pale face. What you got soft tech security after you for? You done robbed a cash machine or what? You gonna do it or not? You say jump, I say how high. Whatever the reason she was coming, it wasn't for cash. Gala was as slick and mean as I can raise him in the burial. She would be useful, and if I kept her close enough, I might be okay. Encryption algorithm. Shouldn't be any problem if you got the decoder. Maybe there was some clue in here. I don't have long before this guard's missed.
Neuron capture, do not kill a pigeon. If Dealey was involved, this must be a high priority mission. He was the best in a business that rated psychotic tendencies as an asset. There's a weak spot around back. We could try there. is fun. Usually I like to keep my knees below my ears on a first date. Could have waited outside. I could have pigeon, but then you might have flown the coop. This way I get to protect my investment. Listen, Shakita. We ain't partners for life. Just as long as it takes me to get you your cash. Ooh, now you really hurt my feelings. I won't flatter myself with that. I guess this is our floor. You're a regular jack in the fox. You never told me you had that. You never asked. Soft tech moved quickly. I had to figure a way around them. Lights. Nice decor. They really do rent it by the hour. Well, they moved me out of the honeymoon suite. Anyway, I gotta find something, then we can get out of here. What's the rush? Looks like fun. Hey, don't touch those. I get charged for what I use. Besides, if this is a sitting duck operation, I'll have this room wired. What are they going to do? Burst down the door? These guys are real pros. They know we're in here. They'll hit us as soon as we get out of here. That guy downstairs wasn't any hot stuff. I know. It's been worrying me. Somehow it's just too easy to get in here. What have you got that they want? I could ask you the same question. So what do you keep in there then? The thin clear silicon explosive coats the surface. It's heat sensitive. Now, if you take more than a couple minutes to open it and you're still unsuccessful, it'll detonate. Not a large charge, but enough to blow your arms off at the elbows. Now that's my sort of toy. Hey, Cutter, what's this? 
I don't know. Let me have a look. Here's the cash I owe you. Here's to a beautiful relationship. Anytime you need any personal services, just give me a call. I'll give you a discount. You could use a little defrosting. to exchange this for a new one. Zip might be able to help.
Most of the people here are real. Well, real enough. Nice to see you again. Hope you ain't jerking my chain. All I've got is what I had before, yeah? If you need any spare parts, I've just got in the shipment. Can you work on this? Uh, this sucker's fragged. You need a new one. How much? Afraid I can only take cash for that item. Well, your lucky day today, Mr. Magoo. Nice to do business with you. I'll uh, see you around sometime. Activated.
One false move and I'll blow your head clean off your shoulders. Whatever credits I've got, they've been used up. You can check me if you want. Shut up! What the hell? Surprised to see me? You were some homing pigeon. Just a little something I planted to ensure we would meet again. You seem like a nice guy, but I'll blow a hole straight through your chest if you take one more step towards me. What do you want? Ah, now you're getting smart. There's always a deal. I myself want nothing. However, the people I work for need to get to dock. And you, I'm reliably told, can get me there. And if I refuse? If I refuse, I will kill you. I won't like doing it, but I will. And then I'll get to dock anyway. Soft tech agents. They'll kill you as quick as me if we don't get here real quick. Okay, Pigeon. But easy now, or I'll have to clip your wings. We'll sort this out later, Chiquita. Couldn't be sure how Gala was mixed up in this, but one thing was sure, I couldn't let her go now. What's the panic, Cutter? Who's died? They fragged Chris. Chris is dead? She can't be. You heard me. She was a good kid. Listen, I need to talk to you. Alone. What happened? I don't know. It should have been a routine run, and now it seems like the whole world's on my tail. There's just something wrong with the data in my head, Doc. It must be one hell of a virus. I think the data I got is corrupted. I can't seem to get it out of my head. Not possible with the anti-intrusion code I supplied you. You got that from the military. Well, you figure it out, because something as sure as hell is in my head, and I want it out, now! Or Chris. Listen, I'll deal with who killed Chris later. Right now, let's deal with this. Okay, I'll go prepare the scanner. It won't be long. density nano-field holoscope. It could view any holographic material.
Are you out of your mind, dearie? So how many of those things you got? Enough. So what are you going to do, start blasting for the faith? You know, you religious nuts are all the same. You think you're fighting for freedom. You're just killing for comfort. I don't expect you to understand, Cutter. What do you know about suffering? I'll tell you something. And I don't give a damn whether you understand me or not. I used to work for the core as an adjuster. To one day something snapped. I slipped into a place far and saw myself a big, deep, dark hole. No frills, just the end of the road. Couldn't even keep a gun in the house. When you hear them calling me at night, it was all I could do to stop myself from picking one up and putting it in my mouth. And then I met Chris. And she turned this sorry excuse of a life into a man again. And now she's dead. It's all my fault. So don't think you have cornered the market in rage. I'll tell you what. You put that gun down. And if Doc wants to help you, he can. I'll leave it up to him. It was nothing personal back there in the lifter. I was just following orders. I guess that makes us all friends again, huh? <laughs> Come through now. Have you been experiencing any hallucinations? Any vomiting or passing out? Yeah, I've had all these reoccurring memories, things I haven't thought about in years. The burn cycle is wiping out all your memories, devouring your brain cells and replacing them with viral code. Since the person called Cutter is simply the memories that you are made up of, you're literally being erased. What? What are you doing playing with soft tech, Cutter? I thought you left all that behind. Flush out my brain and I'm out of your life, okay? Yeah, Cortex will cut us and let us dangle. I want your trail here to be covered. You've got my word. Yeah, like you gave Chris- Listen, get off my back, all right? What's that? The beta software I've been tinkering with. This program will download your essential data and build a construct of you in the Televerse. Once in the Televerse with your brain is computer code, will have a better chance of untangling the logic bomb from your rapidly decaying mind. What happens after that? Do I stay a construct forever? The only person I know who may be able to help is Vialli. Rumor has it, he has the upload code to allow transfer back into your body. I guess I don't have any choice, huh? You used to have them, Cutter, but you used them all up. See you in infinity. Are you out of your mind, Dealey? This was supposed to be a routine interrogation, not a massacre. I knew you couldn't handle it, Cutter. I told him. I should kill you now. Go on then. Shoot me. Kill me. Go on. Do it. No. I'd rather hand you over to the corporation. They'll fry your ass. Oh, they will, will they? What do you mean? When God was crapping stupidity, he dropped a shitload on you. It was the corporation authorized it. It was their idea. You can kill me if you want, but then you'll be running from them for the rest of your life. <laughs> What happened to you, Cutter? You look like hell.
Chris. Chris, is that you? Why shouldn't it be me? Have I been somewhere? Was this another sick joke, courtesy of logic? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What are you doing? You look so real. <laughs> of course I'm real. Why shouldn't I be? Because you're supposed to be dead. I saw you die. What do you mean I'm dead? What do you mean you... You don't know? No, I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. It's been a rough few hours. Okay, we'll just forget it. <sighs> Say, these are cute. A new fashion statement. I've heard of having yourself pissed, but that is ridiculous. What the hell? Here, give me your hand. This was not the normal Televerse. Somehow, as a construct, I am able to penetrate below the user interface. This is the pulse, the pure streams of data, the machine code arteries of the Televerse. Danger! Carter fragmented. Do you know what's going on? Affirmative. Carter's consciousness uploaded into Televerse. Carter's code disrupted. Must retrieve three pieces. Replace missing code. Priority one. What if I can't find the missing code? Carter ceased to be. Can you get me into Cortex? I have to find Vielli. Affirmative. Information old. Security code. Zero, zero, one, one, two, two. How's it going, Cutter? You found Vial yet? No. Oh. Hey, how long have I been here? About three seconds. Three seconds? Don't forget you're running at many millions of clock cycles per second. An hour to you is a second out here. Listen, tell me, how, how did I get these holes throughout my body? Yeah, I, uh, tracked your progress. When you entered the Televerse, you got fragmented by my crappy software. Parts of your code are scattered all over the Televerse. I'm oh, trying to download you back up into your body would be, uh, disastrous. Well, how do I find them? The fragmentation appears to be in your personality software. The problem is the shattered code is self-evolving and can form itself into any shape. They won't come back easily now they've tasted life. You can't transfer back into your body without them. That security code was out of date. Have you got another one? Negative. Cortex security increase. Who the hell's behind this? Is it Softech or Cortex? Or Vialli? You had the option back then, oh, didn't you? What do you mean? I could have prevented Dealey killing those I people. Listen, he killed them before I realized. No, he didn't. You knew when he started slapping them around that he was going to kill them. It happened all so quickly. One minute he was fine, and the next minute he was blasting you them. You walk away with Stop. it. Stop. Didn't have any choice. The corporation was backing him up. You're just a coward. I couldn't do anything. Just like you couldn't do anything for Chris. Chris wasn't my fault. You should never have taken on that run with you. I know. When you're careless, Cutter, people just seem to start dying. It's a shame you don't just die yourself and spare everyone else. What the hell was that? Missing code. Code appears hostile. You're telling me it's hostile. Do you know how I can find him? I have to get him back into my body. Negative. Information unavailable. More data necessary. Information unavailable at present. Yeah, <laughs> 
Sal Paradise. When I dropped out of the corporate game, he helped me get out safely, clearing my data tracks behind me. I'll see you at the club, Neuron, he's Zip's game buddy. He's even... <laughs> Doc was involved in this more deeply than I could see. Gala. I still couldn't figure out what she was up to. <laughs> Dealey. I'd hoped he was just another bad memory. I couldn't seem to shake him from my mind. Go on then! Shoot me! Kill me! Go on! Do it! I knew you couldn't handle it, Cutter! I told him! Cutter, I have high hopes for you. Don't disappoint me now. Great, just what I need. Welcome, my son. Have you come seeking wisdom? Are you willing to kill your ego? In the beginning was the tree beneath which Gautam sat and meditated for 40 nights before his epiphany. You must pick a leaf, but pick the right leaf, the others are virus. They will infect you and destroy you and your reality. You must let your fear be heard. That is the beginning of the path to enlightenment. Make my fear heard? How do I do that? That would be telling. The Buddha must be one of my code pieces. But how do I get him back into myself? Somehow, Vialli was involved in this, but that didn't make any sense. He was the head of Cortex, a rival multinational. The tree is made of leaves. Each of the leaves contains a sound. You must release the sound to find your code. 
The sounds do not exist until you create them. You must discover where your sounds are. I have to move these weights around. I have to move these weights around to make sounds. Nothing is what it seems. The tree was an illusion. You must still find the answer. Hostile code in vicinity. Cutter in danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? Code does not want to re-enter Cutter. Code intends to erase Cutter. Cutter must pursue and reintegrate Code. Can you tell me any more? Hostile Code in Pulse. Coming back! I like it out here! He seems to fragment the more I hit him. He's getting away. I have to stop him. If I don't get him soon, I'm a dead man. The more I hit him, the faster he dies. I have to get him quickly. I don't have much strength. He's getting away. I have to destroy him before he makes it out of here. can't seem to find all my code. Do you know how I can get the rest? Cutter software structure damage. Burn cycle terminal. Cutter unable to progress until all code reconstituted. What have you found out? Do you know who's behind this? Negative. Cutter must complete code. Cutter must find Violet. Where'd you go? I was worried. I don't know. I don't remember. Have I been somewhere? You disappeared after you brought me here. I just remember talking with you and then being here. Well, don't worry about it. I think I'm here to help you. How? I don't know. God damn it, Cutter. Why don't I know anything? It was a third eye.
else I can do. I cannot find any way into Cortex. I mean, what's the use? I mean, you're dead. I didn't want you to die, but it happened. You've got to keep going. I just cannot find the missing code. It's not going to be enough time. You already have. I'm the last piece of your code. When you have me, you'll be a full construct. You'll be a super user. You'll be able to walk through walls if you want to. You can kill me if you want, but then you'll be running from them for the rest of your life. <laughs> level the geometry is beautiful but what really lifts it out is the pain the man must have gone through to have it indelibly printed on his skin a primitive but fascinating right he obviously thought the pain was worth it for something he could take to the grave Carter, it's so good to meet you at last. I've been following your progress with great interest. Listen, if you had any hand in killing Chris, when I get out of here, I'll kill you. Childish, I know, but you get my point? You're in my world now and in no position to make any demands. Anyway, I had no hand in this. So who did? I believe it was Softec. But that can't be. It, it, it was their data that I stole in the first place. You were the perfect homing pigeon. They infected you with a logic bomb so you would have to become a construct. They knew you would seek me out for the download code. But surely Softec could get the code another way. I am the only one with the code. If I were to download you into your body, your brain would contain a residual copy of the download software. Well, then they'd have a download and an upload code? Precisely. Imagine a piece of software that can duplicate a human mind and store it on a computer. Software that would allow a person to make a computer copy of themselves and continually transfer that copy to and from a human body forever. Then they would own the technology of immortality. Think of the miracle of it, Cutter. Even you can appreciate what this means. Why should a man labor all his life to achieve things, and when he's finally succeeded at something, Mother Nature snatches him away, all because his dumb flesh body has decided to pack up? This way, the great thinkers can keep going. Their work can increase. Think about it. What could Newton have taught Einstein? What could Socrates have taught Sartre? The mind boggles at the evolutionary steps we could take. And what could Genghis Khan have taught Hitler? What would the world be like with them? A minor point. More than likely, Softec will reduce it to the most desirable product ever put on the market. It will tip the balance of world power in the favor of whoever has it. But how could they be so sure that I end up here? They couldn't control all the incidences which led me to you. Simple. They had someone betray you. Who? Your memories are fragmenting. Your only chance to destroy the burn cycle is to get an antitoxin to the center of your mind. You must avoid the burn cycle defenses. If they strike you, you will have lost a toxin. I've only five, so use them carefully. Pockets of memory still remain in your mind. If you release these, they will help you. I can't help you any more than that. If you can't do it with five antitoxins, I'm afraid that your brain will fragment into a billion pieces of code.
You better tell me who set me up. Oh, that's simple. Doc has been working with Softech for some years. He served you up to them like a fish on a silver platter. I have access to Doc's internal security cameras. We have to warn Gala. Deal will kill her. I have warned her, but I'm afraid we're powerless from here. We can only watch. Listen up, Cutter. This is how it shakes down. Every minute you're in the Televerse with my software, I'm gonna cut off a piece of that sack of shit you call a body. And I wouldn't worry when your dick's gonna go. By then, you won't have a hand to stroke it. I want to go back into my body. Dealey will kill you as soon as that happens. There is another way. What? I could download you into a spare body I keep in the lab. Do it. Not so quickly. I'm a businessman, Cutter. This is a transaction. What is it? What do you want? I've managed to keep my death secret for a long time. But it won't be long before I'm discovered. Then even my own company will exploit my work. I can't let that happen. What can I do? What's left of me is in the lab. My brain contains the only backup copy of the software. When I download you, take it and leave the city. Is it a deal? It's a deal. body. Well, that would make a change. Not a bad model either. I wonder how it works. body is the perfect disguise. My old one was running down anyway. I figured in this body it would be safe to go back to the hotel. No one would recognize me. I had left a couple of things I needed before I left the city. I knew it was you. You can change your body, but you can't hide that stink. You stink of death, boy. Dealey. Who'd you expect, the tooth fairy? I should have killed you then, Dealey. But you couldn't. You're the same coward today as you were then. But you're better looking. Give me the head. We have to play Savage. This is what you call a lose-lose situation. 
Any which way you throw the dice, comes up craps. Do you like the present I left you last time you were here, hmm? <laughs> I bet it was like a kick in the crutch when you saw it. <laughs> I wish I could have seen your face. I bet it had the same goofy expression on it as when I shot that bitch of a girlfriend of yours on the helipad. <laughs> By now, they'll probably have found Dilly, my old body, and Vialli's head. Should be a while before they realize I'm not dead. The first thing they'll do is retrieve the software from Vialli's head. I think I'd better get out of town, and fast. Wouldn't have thought you were one to run out in a deal cutter. By Ellie? I see you're enjoying the new body. So much nicer than the one you had before, don't you think? Listen, I can explain everything. My thoughts are my children. They may not be the fruits of my loins, but they're the fruits of my mind, and I will protect them from anybody seeking to harm them. Softech have them now. They're probably loading you into their worldwide system as we speak. What Softech have is their own extinction. I assumed you'd let Softech get hold of my head, so I planted a little surprise. My head contains a virus. The meanest homebrew my hackers could cook up. It will destroy Softech's entire computer system. Then they will quite literally cease to exist. You killed a whole company? I prefer to think of it as natural selection. Why? Call it man's urge to reproduce. By destroying Softec, I have ensured my children will flourish for countless generations to come. Look, Vialli, I'm way past caring. If you're leading up to something, just do what you're going to do and get it over with. You will be supplied with an infinite number of bank accounts, good enough for anywhere in the world. What? I contracted you to do a job which you never completed, and I don't eliminate employees, only competitors. What's the catch? Consider it a retainer fee. And look after that body, it's my favorite model, built for speed and pleasure. Don't worry about that. I intend to keep up the maintenance on this model. By letting Softech get a hold of Vialli's head, I had helped Vialli destroy them. Softech were quite literally about to vanish from the face of the earth. To them, this was all just a corporate game. I had more important things on my mind. I wonder what this body would look like with an all-over tan.